Hi everyone, we are the Cruising Sisters and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss any of our videos. But welcome to our Oasis of the Seas full ship tour. We had so much fun recording this ship tour for you guys. So if you enjoy it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and let us know if you have cruised on Oasis of the Seas before or if you plan on sailing on Oasis in the future. So let's get into our ship tour. We started on deck three at the front of the ship. At the front of the ship, you will find the conference center, which honestly is not used much by guests. The rest of deck three are staterooms, and at the back of the ship, you will find one of three main dining rooms. The dining room on deck number three was the place that we enjoyed our dinner every single night. We had amazing service and food, so we highly recommend my time dining on deck number three. Moving up onto deck number four at the front of the ship is deck number one of the Royal Theater. We enjoyed so many shows in the Royal Theater, so make sure that you check out the Cruise Compass so that you don't miss any of the entertainment. Now walking from the front of the ship to the back of the ship on deck number four, on your left, you will find the Jazz on Four. This is a small venue where you can go and sit and enjoy some live music at night. of Jazz on 4 and directly across the hall you will find Blaze. Blaze is another amazing lounge on board. It is home of comedy shows, game shows, as well as the nightclub. We thoroughly enjoyed going to the nightclub almost every night so don't miss that. Heading out of Blaze and once again across the hall, you will find the Diamond Club. We are actually Diamond members, so we did spend a bit of time in the Diamond Lounge. Now heading to Studio B. Studio B is located midship on deck number 4 and this is the Ice Rink. Once again, don't forget to check the Cruise Compass so that you don't miss the ice show in Studio B. It is absolutely amazing and actually one of our favorite shows that we saw on Oasis. And heading towards the back of the ship on deck number four, you will walk through the art gallery heading to the casino. There are so many beautiful pieces of art that you can bid on in the art auction, so keep an eye out for when that is during your cruise. And here we are in the massive casino on board Oasis of the Seas. Once again, we are still on deck number four. The casino is open 24-7 only when you are not at port. So you do have to be outside of port in the open seas in order for the casino to be open. There are so many slot machines as well as tables and a large bar located in the casino. now making our way to the back of the ship which is where the main dining room is located so as I mentioned there are three decks of main dining rooms this is deck number four's main dining room as you turn to the right of the main dining room on deck number four you will find Izumi Izumi is one of the specialty restaurants on board a Royal Caribbean ship, so this is at an upcharge on top of your cruise. It is the Japanese fusion hibachi sushi 
restaurant, which we have heard is amazing, but personally have not tried. And now we have gone up now to deck number five at the back of the ship, which is where the final main dining room is located. Deck number five is one of the most action-packed decks on board Oasis of the Seas. Located on deck number five is the Royal Promenade. It is absolutely beautiful. There are so many different bars and live music and shops and cafes and everything you may need all on deck number five. So starting here on the right when you are heading from the back to the front of the ship is the Bionic Bar. The Bionic Bar is famous because the robots actually make your drinks for you. It is so cool to watch. As we continue on, still at the back of the ship, you will find the Wi-Fi and the port shopping desk so those people can help you if you have any questions. Coming across here, we have the first of many shops on the promenade, the fine watches. As well, on the left is guest services. This is where you can go if you have any questions or concerns while on the ship. Right beside guest services is one of our most visited places on board, Cafe Promenade. They have specialty coffees, which if you have the drink package, are included. There are also tons of snacks available at Promenade Cafe. Continuing on the promenade, you will find a few more shops on the right, as well as on the left, the Island Market. Now here you can see Sorrento's Pizza, one of the most popular places on board. Quick, fresh pizza, absolutely delicious, don't miss it. On the left is the Globe and Atlas Pub, which has live music at night and plenty of different beers. Continuing on the promenade, you will see the Royal Caribbean shop on the right, as well as some kiosks in the middle. There are plenty of sales throughout the day, so check out the cruise compass for that once again. Now on the right, you will see Boleros. That is the Latin bar. Absolutely amazing at night. Tons of dancing and live music once again. In the middle here is the Starbucks kiosk. That is not included in your cruise cost or your drink package. That is an additional cost. Now on the other side of Starbucks there, you can see Spotlight Karaoke. We love stopping by here for a few minutes just to watch some of the entertainment and singers. As you can see here, there is not a ton of seating, so get here early or you can always stand to watch. And we have now made it to the front of the ship on deck number five, which is the second level of the Royal Theatre. Here is the inside look of the Royal Theatre. Now we entered on deck number four and above us was deck number five. The theatre is huge. We always got to our shows quite early so that we could find some good seats, but there are usually seats available no matter what time you arrive. Also located on deck number five is the outdoor running track. This goes all along the outside deck. We are now heading on up to deck number six via the promenade stairs. These stairs will bring you directly to the photo studio. Here is an absolutely beautiful view of the promenade from deck number six at the front of the ship. Any professional pictures that you got taken of you during your cruise will show up on these kiosks. Continuing 
on deck number six, you will find the next cruise, which is where you can book your future cruises, as well as the schooner bar. At night, there is a live pianist that plays here and amazing bartenders. We absolutely loved them. We are now at the back of deck six, heading towards the boardwalk. As you enter into the boardwalk, you will see some fancy mirrors and some horses that turn into the carousel. On the left is the dog house. This is where you can get hot dogs or sausages throughout the day at no additional cost. Here's the carousel, which we actually did end up going on and it was so much fun, so I highly recommend. On the right is Playmakers. This is another one of the restaurants that you do have pay for so that is not included in your cruise cost. As you continue on you will see the abyss. The abyss is the dry slide that goes all the way from deck 16 to deck number 6 so it is 10 stories high. We actually did not get a chance to do it unfortunately on this cruise so we definitely will be doing it on our next. At the very back of the ship on deck number six is the Aqua Theater. Royal Caribbean has an absolutely amazing aqua show, so don't miss that. It plays many times throughout your cruise. On deck number seven, you will find the rock climbing wall. You can access it from deck number six here. All right, now heading back to midship on deck number six. On the right, you will find Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets offers a free breakfast. However, the hamburgers, french fries, hot dogs, onion rings, anything like that is at an additional cost. The milkshakes, however, are included if you have the beverage package. There is also a beach shop located here on deck number six and the Sugar Beach Candy Shop. We have now made it to the front of the ship on deck number six. Vitality at Sea, the spa and fitness center is located at the front of the ship. Vitality Cafe was actually one of our favorite cafes for fresh juices and smoothies. You can also grab your coffee here as well if you have the beverage package. If not, it is at an additional cost. Moving through here, you will see the salon. The spa is on the right hand side. And if you're looking for the fitness center, you follow the left hand side. Now this was actually our first and only time going to the gym on this particular sailing. A few years back when we were on Oasis of the Seas, we were regulars at the gym, but this cruise was a little bit different for us. The gym is very spacious. There are tons of cardio machines like treadmills, bikes, ellipticals. And there are also lots of weightlifting machines, as well as some free weights, Smith machines, and cable machines. There is also the option to do group fitness classes, however those are at an additional cost. Deck 7 only has staterooms, so we actually skipped this deck and we are now moving on to deck number 8. Deck number 8 has Central Park. Central Park is one of our favorite places to go to get some fresh air while still feeling like you're midship. On the left is Vintage's Wine Bar. The wines here, if they are under $14, are included in your beverage package. Moving on throughout Central Park, you can take in the beauty of the nature, the live trees and flowers and plants. It's so beautiful, especially at night. Here you can find Giovanni's Table, which is yet again another specialty restaurant, so an additional cost. Across the way here is Park Cafe, 
And this is where in the morning they have a bagel bar, in the afternoons they have a salad bar, and they also have lots of sandwiches. Here is 150 Central Park, another specialty restaurant. Heading on in now to the back of the ship on deck number eight, you will find the music hall. The music hall is two decks high, so deck number eight and deck number nine at the back of the ship. This is where there is some live music as well as game shows, which we had such a blast at. It's so fun. Again, this is a small venue, so if you would like seats, get there early. Make sure that you look at the cruise compass. There is a bar on both deck number eight and deck number nine in the music hall. Don't forget, if you're enjoying our video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and check out our Oasis of the Seas vlogs. I will link that playlist here so that you can go catch up on all of our vlogs from this cruise. Thanks again for watching and continue on for the rest of the ship tour. are on deck number nine in the music hall and as you can see at the back there there is that second bar here we are on deck number 10 once again just state rooms so we skipped this deck and moved on to deck 11. deck 11 and 12 are mostly state rooms however there is a card room the card room is located at the back of the ship on both decks 11 and 12 and it is beautiful. This is actually one of the hidden gems that we found on Oasis of the Seas. As you can see it is not busy, there is absolutely no one there when we arrived. There are board games as well as cards that you can sit and enjoy while taking in the breathtaking view of the back of the ship. Unfortunately, we did not get the opportunity to film deck number 14, but deck number 14 is home to Adventure Ocean and the nursery, and that is located at the back of the ship. Here we are on deck number 15, the main pool deck at the front of the ship. You will find the kids area, there is a small water park for them to go ahead and play there. As we continue on, you will find the Lime and Coconut Bar. It is located on both the left and the right side of the ship, so there are lots of bars in and around the pool deck. We are now on the opposite side of the pool, and the pool on the right here is the sports pool. As we continue on from the front of the ship towards the back, you can find another lime and coconut bar. Continuing on, you can see some whirlpools as well as another large pool with lots of pool chairs on the decks. Continuing on towards the back of the ship is another one of our favorite food places, a local fresh. There are so many options such as burritos, quesadillas, tacos, and nachos. We are now at the back of the ship where you can find the sports court. Anything from basketball, pickleball, and volleyball can be played here. As we continue to the back of the ship, there are two flow rider simulators. They are so much fun. And you can sit here and watch people wipe out all day, or you can go ahead and try them for yourself. The wipeout bar is located here at the back of the ship as well. You can also try out the zip lining that goes across deck number 16. On the left here is the abyss, the dry slide that I mentioned goes from deck number 16 all the way down to deck number 6. Mm -hmm. 
on the left hand side of the ship here is the mini golf it is free to play and such a great activity to do on a sea day or if you have some extra time before dinner now we are at the front of the ship once again on deck number 15. The whirlpools on deck number 15 on both sides of the ship are our absolute favorites because they hang over the ship and you get a wonderful view of the ocean or the port that you are in. Here we have entered the solarium. This is the 18 and up area, so adults only in the solarium. The solarium has so many amazing deck chairs and is a quiet place to go during the day. There are some pools as well as whirlpools and a cafe where you can grab a snack or lunch. There is also a bar located in the solarium on deck number 16. And with that, we are going to conclude our full ship tour of Oasis of the Seas. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button to support our channel. Don't forget to let us know if you have sailed on Oasis of the Seas or if you are planning on sailing on it in the future. We absolutely love this ship and we couldn't recommend it more. We hope you enjoyed this and go ahead and check out our Oasis of the Seas vlogs if you haven't already. We had so much fun on our New Year's Eve Oasis of the Seas cruise, so we really hope that you enjoy all of our vlogs. Bye!